In JavaScript, objects have reference to themselves. This is an important concept to understand as we expand our knowledge of JavaScript, particularly as we expand our knowledge of functions in JavaScript. And we'll take a look at this object self-awareness through an example. I've gone ahead and created an object called myobj, and it contains two properties, the name and language properties, which I've initialized to Zach and JavaScript respectively. I've also included a method which I've named display that holds a function definition which simply logs to the console the name property of our myobj object followed by a string that says writes in and then the language property of that same myobj object. After our myobj object initialization, I've gone ahead and invoked that display method. Let's go to the browser to see what it logs to the console. As we might expect, it logs Zach writes in JavaScript to our console. We've demonstrated how objects have reference to themselves through that display method in the myobj object. But the way that we refer to our object is a little bit weird. We refer to it explicitly by name. And the reason that's weird is because if we were speaking about our object like we speak in English, it would be like the object referring to itself in third person. And nobody likes someone who refers to themselves in third person, especially Zach. Zach really hates people that refer to themselves in third person. So instead, we tend to refer to ourselves using pronouns, things like me or I. Now, wouldn't it be great if JavaScript provided a type of pronoun, if you will, for objects to refer to themselves as? And in fact, it does. JavaScript provides us with a keyword called this. This is how objects refer to themselves without explicitly referring to themselves by name. So we can see how in my display method definition, I've replaced the myobj reference with the this keyword. Let's go back to our browser to make sure that we haven't broken anything. And indeed, our program still works as it did before, writing Zach writes in JavaScript to our console. Now, there are some gotchas that can come up when using the this keyword and we're not going to explore the more complex scenarios where that's likely to happen. But the really important thing to understand about the this keyword is that it always refers to an object. And specifically, it refers to the object that invokes it. So as you use this in your JavaScript, if you come across behavior that is not what you anticipated with the use of the word this, then always start your debugging process with figuring out what object this is referring to. In the next section, we're gonna learn about something called prototypes, and the concept of this referring to its invoking object will make a little bit more sense. So stick with me as we move on to the next section.